Welcome back to my Colorado Mountain Garden. And today what you're seeing in front of you are my chameo peppers and my jalapenos. The jalapenos have all germinated. Um, all but one of the seeds that were grown in the paper towel for the chameos has germinated. And two of the ones that I just put in soil have not germinated yet either. The one towards the back here, it has germinated, but it hasn't popped the little seed cap off yet. These um, jalapenos will be going under the lights without the dome on. This one's too tall right here, and so the dome was hitting it. I am going to leave the dome on the chameos probably one more night in hopes that a couple of those other um, cells that haven't germinated pop through. If not, you know, they may still germinate. I'll just have to watch. I'll have to make sure that I keep that top part of the soil wet. I have not watered these yet again. Um, I will have to, now that I'm going to take the domes off of them, uh, watch that so that it, they don't dry out. So I may have to water them a little more often, but like I said, right now they're still very heavy, so they do not need water. I'm putting my gardening geek hat on today because I wanted to talk to you a little about these little leaves that you're seeing, which they're actually not leaves at all. They're actually a part of the seed and they're known as cotyledons. Cotyledons, some people refer to them as an embryotic leaf, um, but their sole purpose is to provide nutrients to your plant until the true leaves break through. And it's not until you start getting true leaves that your plant starts undergoing photosynthesis. The cotyledons don't do that, but you still have to have the lights on or these are going to get leggy. They still need light even though photosynthesis is not happening right now. So please keep that in mind. The cotyledons will eventually die off. Uh, as I up pot, if they are still there, you will see me cut them off once I have you know, the true leaves going and everything like that because I know they're going to die off and I will drop the peppers down not as drastically as I do tomatoes in the soil but I will drop them down a bit. The other thing that I'll be doing in probably the next 7 to 14 days is giving them their first dose of fertilizer. I use the Fox Farm Grow Big. You can use whatever you want. I use liquid fertilizer because it's easy because that's how you're feeding them. You're feeding them through the bottom and I pretty much only use liquid fertilizer unless it's something like worm castings and things like that out in the garden because then I know my plants are getting enough. Now this is going to be diluted um, at its full strength. It's a 644. So when I dilute it into a gallon of water it'll be a 322 and then and the reason why I say about every 7 to 10 days or before I do this is because I don't know when the cells are going to dry out here so that I can actually water them and get them, give them fertilizer. But probably at least two times before these are up potted, they will be fed with a half strength fertilizer. And then I'll probably only do a half strength one more time after up potting but then I will start with a full strength fertilizer. You can use whatever fertilizer you want you just want to make sure that it's not super high in nitrogen which is the first number. Mine is a 6. You don't want to use something like a 12. Um, you want it to be pretty baseline but you always want to have nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium um, in your fertilizers. If you don't have one or the other, then you have to buy another product that contains the others because there are some out there, um, some of the sea kelps and the seaweeds and stuff like that. They don't, they might have a lot of nitrogen, but then they're very lacking in the other two. So just keep that in mind. I hope you enjoyed my video. Please remember to subscribe. It's very cold here. It's going to get colder and happy gardening.